What's up guys, John here from the Reaper blog. In this video, I'll show you some custom actions that have really helped me recently in editing dialogue. You can apply these to anything. Some of them will be really useful for mixing as well. So let's get into it. Uh, first, let's talk about area selection in Reaper. It's a combination of time and item selection. So I set it up so that I right click and drag and it creates a time selection and it also selects the item underneath it. So if I select around here, it's going to select these two because my mouse went over this other item like that. If I split these a couple times, and I select like this. These items as a whole are selected, but this time selection is also selected. So these actions are only going to apply to the parts of the items that are selected within this highlighted area. So for example, if I press my mute action, it's going to split the items at the time selection and then apply the mute action to them. Before we get into the custom actions, we're going to look in the mouse modifiers to make sure that we can click and drag and make time selections really simply. So we're going to preferences and arrange view and right drag. You can see here, marquee select items and time. To do that, you go to marquee select items. This is the default and this is the toggle that you can add uh, for this set time selection. So instead of just selecting the item that's under the mouse, it's also going to set an in and out point. And I will group these because these actions are made for dialogue editing and often you're linked to your video or you're linked to a couple dialogue tracks. You may or may not be using ripple editing, uh, but these work well whether you're ripple editing or not. So the first action will be the muting action. So I make my time selection, I press Command M, and it's uh, muted the item. And let's look at the steps for that action. Mute selected area of items is what it's called. And it's very simple, split items at time selection and item properties mute. And optionally, you can also remove the time selection. I think I will do that. I'm gonna click OK. So now when I run this action, Command M, it's going to split, it's going to mute, and then it's going to clear my time selection. Another action that I've set up is plus 3 dB selected envelope section and minus 3 dB selected envelope section. So let's bring up a envelope on this item, going to right click, go to take and take volume envelope. That puts a little red line across the center click and drag and create envelope points like this. But that's a little slow and not very precise for uh, very specific edits that we wanna do. So let's say I want this bumped up. I hover my mouse over that point after I've uh, made my time selection, bump it up, do the same here. That's definitely a click or something. I can take that out. So I'm just pressing F5 and F6 to really quickly trim the volume envelope. And it doesn't work just on this take volume envelope, it's really any envelope. So I'm gonna open up the pan envelope for this track and I can do the same thing. So now it's going to pan to the left for just this word and come back to the center after that. If you like working in time selections, this is a huge help. The steps for this action are really simple. Select envelope at mouse cursor. You need the SWS extension for that insert four envelope points at time selection. So it's going to put in two anchor points at the start and end of your time selection, and then two points that are within it that will move in the next action, which is move selected points up a little bit, and it's in there three times to give us three decibels of change. You can probably guess that the other action is exactly the same, but in the opposite direction. So move points down a little bit. I have those assigned to F5 and F6, and that works pretty well, but I do find I have to look at the keyboard. If you guys have a suggestion for a different keyboard shortcut for that, I'm happy to hear it. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Next, I have some actions for removing the area of items. Once again, this is made for ripple editing and grouped items. So let's say I want this removed, which is probably an um or something like that. So I press Command, delete. And this one's a little trickier than some of the others. Remove selected area of items, select next item across tracks. That's also an SWS 
action. Item grouping, select all items in group. So that brings back the grouped items because this one only selects the next track. It's a little weird. And time selection, remove time selection and loop points. So it's going to remove the time selection. The reason I need that action instead of this one, remove selected area of items, is that the built-in one keeps the items selected. So if I run this action, you can see that these two items are selected and these two items are selected. If I wanted to make a crossfade on the second half, it's going to move items that I didn't want to be moved. I also have this other one that's very similar to the last one. Remove selected area of items, unselect all items, remove time selection. So running that one is going to unselect all items. Remove selected area of items and unselect all items. Runs that and no items are selected. I can immediately grab that and make a crossfade over that edit point. Once again, if I do that with the built-in action, remove selected area of items, I go to make a crossfade right here, and it makes it over here. And the other way works. This one, remove selected area of items, select right. It's going to split, trim that area, all that kind of stuff, but it's going to keep this side selected, um, keeping with the grouped items, and then I can just click and drag, and it's going to give me that auto fade that I like. I could probably live with just this unselect one. I think the select right one works pretty well, and it's closer to the default uh, split action. Split items at edit or play cursor. I just press S, and you can see it cuts these two items, and it keeps the right side selected, so I can immediately make a fade like that. So I just like that one for consistency. One final one is almost exactly the same as the remove selected area, but it is to cut selected area of items. The removed section of the items goes to the clipboard, so then you can use it somewhere else. So cut selected area of items, unselect all items, time selection, remove time selection. Select this word, Command-X, that fills the gap because I have ripple editing on click here where I want it to paste, I press V, and it's there. So I can grab this, Command X, that removes it, go here, press V, and it pastes it. Super simple. There you go, guys, six custom actions that really help with editing and area selections. Hope you've learned something, hope you can use these actions. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support on Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.